Hey everybody, Kuzmos here, back with another Minecraft Bingo. We are playing the second of the weekly Blind Bingo Challenge Seed for the week of July 31st, 2015. The seed on the right is 5504. Taking a look at this card, well, it's a bit of a doozy. The rows that might be easier, uh, the mostly involves things from jungles, which we start off in dry biome, so I don't have a huge hope for, for that. Taking into account the starting very dry area, and the fact that I know there's cows right near where we should spawn, I'm going for the fourth column. Um, I think it should be easy, but then again, I thought I had a good run on the last one, which, well... Y'all are probably not going to see, but it, let's just say it was bad. Uh, if you're interested in how bad, just take a look at the scores over on slash r or reddit.com slash r slash minecraft bingo. And there my shame shall be laid bare for all to see. But I don't think it's very entertaining video. Alright, there's our cows right there. Let's take a look around. We've got a lovely mesa over there. I like that. It's a brown mushroom, which... Oh, let's put that in the proper place. Okay, let's get our trees real quick. Um, Alright, there's a lovely acacia tree. So grab that. And... I think I'll just grab four to start with. I believe four is enough to make the initial run of tools. And then from there... Well, I was kind of hoping that was a nice lovely little cave. But from there we shall see about making our other tools. Yeah, th that gets us our start. Quite handily. So we'll go ahead and get our pick as usual. I almost made it from wood again, which would be just a silly waste of time. Now we want to make certain to leave at least one of those cows alive. Very important because that's our source of milk. And, well, if we kill them, that'll just kind of ruin the entire point of going the row that we're going, or the column we're going. But, we do need some amount of food. So, grab just a smidgen here. A smidgen of coal, of course. Actually, let's see what this pig gives us. Oh, that looks like plenty to start us with. So we'll go ahead and let that get cooking. And I kind of feel like... Oh, that was the wrong way to do that, obviously. I feel like if I just dig straight down, it'll be the quickest way to get iron, because I need three iron as quick as possible. Obviously, I could be wrong. I could fall into a ravine. And the further I go, the more I'm thinking I'm wrong. Okay, there is a bit of sound, but it's kind of faint. There's the iron. That's all we really care about, to be honest. I mean, if there's a... Ah, uh, this is waste of time. I don't... should not be doing this. But if there's a dungeon here, then oh, it sounds so bloody close, but I feel like I've wasted enough time on that. So let's get ourselves back up. We should have a little bit of spare stone just from our little uh, excursion off to the side. 
Um, from there, I'll have to evaluate exactly what we need to do. But, actually, I grabbed a... Where'd I put my furnace? There it is. Okay. So we've got a starting little bit of food. Let's go ahead and put this down. And, in fact, make ourselves a second furnace. And we'll get more of this tree. I really didn't need to make that second furnace the more I think about it. Or, well, I didn't need to put it down yet. Alright. Let's see if we've got enough iron. Yes, we do. So let's our milk. I, for some reason, thought that it was going to give me the bucket back. I had in my head that I'd have a bucket that I could carry water around in. Obviously, that's not the case. So, we've got one extra iron, which I don't think I actually need. And, uh, we need mushrooms. I saw somewhere at least a giant brown mushroom. I think over this way? And hope oh pumpkins really if I had confidence in gold I would grab that but I don't it's a shame but there's a brown mushroom over that way probably should have stuck to the land here I wasn't paying very close attention we do need this and we'll grab the brown mushroom and hope for we need at least two of these, so. And sand, and clay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's one. I think, yeah. And there's like two or three more. Okay. Let's get our food down here. And hope we can find ourselves a red mushroom with a quickness. Okay, let's take a look around. We've got a little swampy area as well. I don't see any red mushrooms there. Nor over there. I might be overlooking some, but... Uh, this... Let's not forget our sand, either. Oop, that worked out better than I expected. It's a bit of a cave. Do we need anything from that? Spiders. We need the spiders, and we do need to find clay. We've got the sugar. Let's not be staring down at our map too much that we don't see what's around us. Alright, so... You know, the more I think about it, the more it occurs to me that this was not the best of rows, or columns, whatever. Best of lines, either. Because mushrooms also tend towards wet biomes, and of course we start in this very... Ooh, lava. <laughs> oh, lots of, lots of lava. Um, this very, very dry area. So, let's go ahead and grab that real quick. We don't... From underground, we need spiders. But, we might as well just continue on the surface, because, well, you know what, we're running out of land. So, let's get a bunch of extra wood, head over this way. And, obviously... We will craft ourselves a boat. Or two. So grab that. I also need... I don't need squid. Alright, I need to remember to keep an eye out for clay. That looks like it could be promising. 
but I don't know. It looks like a bit of a spruce forest of some sort. I think there's occasionally little red mushrooms, but it's really pretty rare. But it is at least getting us away from the cold bi or the warm biome, sorry. That should at least count for something. Maybe it would have been worthwhile to... Oh, there's our red mushrooms. Okay. So now... Put this down. Let's go ahead and make... These. And we've got one extra brown mushroom. So we can have one to eat just for funsies. Let's not forget... Okay, so... We need clay... And we need a spider, so... Uh, let's see, somewhere like this might be a good bet. Sand... I think that was exposed stone in the water. There's some clay, and here's some better clay. Better in that I don't have to swim for it. Alright, so... We can go ahead and cook our glass. And our clay. Let's go ahead and toss this. And these. That'll be just about done. Alright. Didn't have to do anything with that. Alright, night's about to fall, so we should be able to quickly get our spider eye. Let's go ahead and turn this into sugar. There's our glass. Let's go ahead and cook that while we're making the... It was glass bottles, right? Yeah. I forget sometimes. Alright. We've got a ton of food. We only need one more thing. And it's getting about the right time to find them. This won't be a stellar time. But it should clock in at, I'm guessing, around about 13 minutes. Just a very... Oh, we are very hungry. Oh, look, and there's uh, all kinds of mushrooms that way. That's all right. We got here food. Um, I don't... Yeah, there's... All right, we've got mob spawn, and that's great. We've got a... Sp Spider somewhere. I kind of want to let the creepers explode. There we go. There's our spider. Hopefully, it will give us an eye. No eye. So you have eight of those. You can spare at least one. There's a skeleton. Who, of course, is coming for me. And narrowly missed. There's another spider or two. I did not see an eye there. There is an eye. Okay. And that clocks us in at 12 minutes and 5 seconds. I really think overall, aside from my little detour, hoping I could find the dungeon down there, which, you know, could have been a bit official. There was a spider down there, so... It wasn't... Well, it was in vain since I didn't actually find anything. But it was at least... It would have been a useful thing to continue trying to find. Just due to the spider, if I could have gotten an eye there, I would have finished a little bit earlier. Probably just past the 10-minute mark. But, all in all, not too bad of a run. Alright, guys. Uh, until next time, catch you later.